Welcome to the fourth part of our video series describing MRM cubed and how this functionality on your Q-trap system can help you improve your residue quantitation in difficult matrices. We've told you a little about the benefits of MRM cubed, the ability to overcome background noise in your chromatogram, the reduction of matrix interferences in your MRM transitions that interfere with your quantitation, and the ability to improve the selectivity for detecting your compound of interest. But did you also know that you can use your MRM cube transitions to perform quantitation in the exact same way that you use your MRM transitions? In this video, we want to show you a short demo of how you can use multi-quant software to easily quantify low-level residues using MRM cube transitions. In this experiment, we want to use our MRM cube transitions to quantify the compound triad mineral in bean samples. In the case of this compound, a structural isomer with identical MRM transitions appeared in the chromatogram at a retention time of 10.4 minutes for both selected MRM transitions. By adding an MRM cubed or MS to the third experiment to our acquisition method, we were able to add selectivity to this analysis to ensure we were detecting and quantifying only our compound of interest and not an isomer. In this case, the second generation fragment specific to triad mineral showed a chromatogram with only a single peak for our compound of interest. Additionally, the sensitivity for the detection of the MRM cube transition was nearly tenfold higher than the sensitivity for the MRM transition. Keep in mind that these MRM cube data can also be used to perform quantitative analysis. In the example of triad mineral, we monitored two MRM transitions and one MRM cube transition in our analysis. Here we show the multi-quant results table we created which contains the results for our batch for both MRM transitions and MRM cube transition identified in this table as Tridimino MS3. When we review the calibration curves for the MRM transition denoted here as Tridimino 1 and the MS to the third or MRM cube transition denoted here as Tridimino MS3, you can see that the curves are nearly identical with regression R values of 0.995 for both. Additionally, Chromatograms can be reviewed in multi-quant for MRM cube data in the same way that MRM data can be reviewed, showing that MRM cube data can be handled just like MRM data for your quantitative analysis. We hope this example shows you how easy it is to use MRM cubed to accurately quantify low-level residues in your samples and help you to get better selectivity for your analysis and overcome background interferences. To learn more about MRM cubed or other Q-trap functions, visit our website to view new videos, application notes, and workflows.